hey everybody uh, I'm just uh, gonna do a little demo here of how I'm doing my game sounds now uh, I can actually let me get rid of her what she's in the way go away girl delete yes okay now then I've figured out a way to get my game sounds actually more of a professional studio way of doing things but I'm no professional <laughs> so let's see if I'm getting game sounds here and there we go. That's closing. That makes a lot of noise. That's why I'm down here. Open. Okay. Now we're going to try and see what happens here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of Minecraft and do a little extracting of audio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it and delete, uh, extract the audio from this video. Uh, make a new video out of this one. It's going to be the same video footage, but I'm going to remove the audio from it. Then I'll take the two other audio streams I have going, because one is coming from here in my terminal that's doing the video audio recording of my voice and the video, and I have Sound Recorder going here uh, recording in-game audio. So, let me get out of here, and I will be back in just a second with uh, an explanation of how this is going to work. So, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. A few seconds for you, a few minutes for me. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio. And I'm going to open up Game and Mic. I'm going to import those into Audacity, because that's what I'm using to mix my audio with. So let's open those and get a few warnings. Yes, make a copy. <clears throat> yes, make another copy. And I had to go back and check. <laughs> this is my second time through this. You'll see these spikes here and here this is the one here where I actually clicked on the the button to get into the world so I'm just gonna delete before that and let's see mute this one and play it there we go yeah that's definitely it okay I'm gonna stop there and you're not going to be able to hear what's going on on the screen right now, but trust me, it'll make sense when I get done. Now I'm going to mute this one, unmute this one, because I think that marker right there is the one where I actually started the video. That's That marker here is going to be the same as this one here. So let me play that. <coughs> Two, one... There we go. Now then, I need to go here, and I actually made my little sound just before <clears throat> I made the click, so it should come right before that marker. Now let's, I'm going to go back, I'm going to unmute this one, and I'm going to play it from the beginning. Alright, no, that was wrong. Let's undo that. Go back here a little bit further back because I can do that. I just need to get these two synchronized and I should be okay. Now let's rewind and play. Oh, let me try that again. See, that's the whole thing. Getting those two synchronized. Alright. <laughs> it might help if I unmute this one. Alright, see, I, uh, they're not synchronized, so I need to delete just a little bit more on this one. Now, rewind and play. That's pretty close. That's just about how I did it. So, you'll see <coughs> this spike here this spike here and this spike here these are just stereo tracks so don't worry about that They're, what I'm trying to do is get this spike and this spike roughly synchronized so that my audio starts in the same place that's like when you watch a, a the making of a movie or something and you you'll see the countdown three two one beep well, that's to synchronize the audio and the video with the flash on the screen and the beep in the audio. Now, 
I'm going to listen to this one more time. Yeah, that's pretty close. So, now what I need to do is go down here and find the end of the video. Yeah, that was awfully loud. I'm going to play this through, and it's going to let's pause here. Because I need to find where I ended the video. There we go. I know this is boring for you because I am not talking. I'm trying to listen to my audio, and I need to find where to end. So here we go. Let's see. Okay. So the end of this video, this audio, is where the end of this audio needs to be. So let's back up. Uh oh. No. What are you doing? Oh, I know what's going on. Come here. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Play. Stop. Now then. Why is it automatically playing? Okay. Whatever. I need to put this. You can see my cursor move. My right here. My marker cursor moving. That's me scrolling through with my keys, my arrow keys, to get to the end of this video, or audio, excuse me. Now then, I'm going to go push shift and up, and I'm going to select the rest of this and hit delete. Great. Now I have my two audio streams synchronized. Hopefully, this is going to work, but what I want to do so I want to mute this one for just a second because I think I need to tweak my audio settings over here on this audio. And yeah, it's a little low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select all of this. You notice it's not selecting this. Now then I'm going to go to Effect. I'm going to amplify that. And I think I did this by 10 dB last night. Uh, really? Let's try that again. Because something's not right here. Uh, effect. Amplify. Oh, uh, you know what? It may have just been 7. Really? What? Why is it graying out? Okay, it won't let me go above 5.4. Okay, no problem. Let's click OK. Now I'm going to go back, rewind, and I'm going to play this. <coughs> okay, well that's a little better. And now, since that audio is not really high, but it's it's just about right. I'm going to go back and I'm going to play this one. You notice I muted this one. I'm going to rewind. And I'm going to play. That's awfully loud, especially when you get over here to where I open and close those chests. So I'm going to select this audio here. I'm going to amplify, but I'm going to do this by a negative number. And hopefully this will work. Let me see. I may have to go back and redo that. But this is just the process I go through. There we go. That's not too bad. Now that I have them adjusted, I need to go back and play them both and listen to how they sound mixed together and then make more adjustments based on that. Okay, now let's move the marker over here where the loud noises are at and see what happens. And that's still awfully loud. <laughs> Alright, now then, I'm going to mute this again and select that effect, amplify, and we're going to say minus 3 this time. Okay, now then, let's go back here. 
uh, unmute, put the marker right here, play this again. Wow, that's still awfully loud. I mean, I know you can't hear it, but this is, there we go. It's a little bit fiddly. It takes a while to get this down right, but once you do it, you get a, cut, you get a pretty good effect. We're going to do minus five this time. I don't like I don't like going like to keeping doing that, but I'm working with uncompressed audio, so it's really no big deal. Now let's do this again. Much better, much better. It's still a little bit loud, but I'm not worried about that. That's 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 acceptable. So let's export this. We're going to export this as a mixed. Oops, mixes. Yeah and it's already down here you'll see it's a flak file so we're going to save that to open shot here and no tags I'm not worried about that yes go ahead mix my tracks together you'll notice this really doesn't take a long time what we're going to do when this is done is I'm going to open up open shot and I'm going to import the video that I have extracted the audio from and actually remove the audio from because we don't want that playing at the same time we're playing this and then we'll bring in these two audio tracks let's close that no don't save I don't need to save that that can go away now then I'm gonna open up open shot <clears throat> and you know a lot of software makes you create a new uh, project every time you make a video I have a I, I do that but for these purposes I'm not going to create a whole new project I'm just going to do it on the fly here so let's bring in uh, first the video the Matroska video uncompressed I'll bring that in now we're going to bring in mixed that's what we just mixed down so now drop the video down here and I always put video on the bottom in case I'm putting overlays or titles or anything over the top of it audio doesn't matter I'm just gonna plop it down here and give it a quick play it's not gonna be anything like synchronized yet yet so we'll watch the video and see I know where my entry point was here so I'm gonna stop it when I get to come on All right. now we're gonna back up just a bit here to where I clicked <coughs> All right, and just a little bit more. All right, now we're going to take this mixed here. Make sure I've got my arrow tool selected, and I've got snapping on, so it'll be a lot easier. Let's move this over here, and it will snap in with the timeline. And I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'm going to whoa, that's I'm going to go right there. Now I'm going to play this and see how well it synchronizes, and then I'll adjust after the fact. <laughs> and uh, make, get my audio synchronized with my video. So here we go, let's try this. And Oh, no, 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 no. That's really not good. Let's try this again. Play. Okay, now we're going to... Wow, let's go back a little more move this there we go now this is the this is where you have to have a little patience not quite enough yet so let's go back some more Let me go back move that because my audio is not ah let's just watch we'll see you'll see what I mean I'm gonna go back a little more and uh, no. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's keep going. 
I may go a little bit too far back here. <laughs> okay, let's see how that works. Keep going, and I, I, I'm you're gonna ha I'm gonna have to be silent here for just a second. So bear with me. I have to make sure that I get this co this part correct. This is the most critical, important part. So just a second. I can't tell if I'm late. I think I'm late coming in on audio. No, I'm early. Let's move this forward just another little bit. And rewind. And play. Mm -mm. Still a little bit late, so I'm going to move this a little more. And try it again. Here we go. That's pretty close. Um, I wish that I had a timeline down here, something to show my audio. Like, uh, I think Sony Vegas has that, shows your audio waveform. That would be great down here. But uh, I've extracted the audio from this anyway. I wouldn't do that if it was in there, obviously. I'd be able to really synchronize what I'm doing correctly. However,. I'm going to back up one more time here and maybe make another adjustment. Let's see. Okay, that's really close. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our resize tool. And I am going to move this right on the line there where my audio starts. And then... I'm going to come over here with my resize tool and I'm going to drag this over to there. Come on, there we go. Now, let's see, back up a little because we have to. This, this, this is audio and video editing. This is backup, play, backup, play. And it, <laughs> you get used to it after a while. Okay, that's really close. Let me look at it one more time. Whoa, that's that's too far. Oh well. Now, listen. I'm gonna have to listen. All right, that's that's pretty freaking close. Um, I'm not gonna be perfect on this because this is just a demo. But here we go. I'm gonna back these up to the beginning of the timeline, and you're gonna notice now that they're almost exactly the same length. I may have cut the end off. You notice I trimmed the ends, if you'll remember from the audio section of this. I trimmed the far end. <laughs> so they're not going to be per exactly right. So I'm going to play it. That's okay. That's really close. Now I'm going to go down here to the end. I'm going to watch and see what, how it works here. Okay. That's it. And hopefully, when I get done with this, you will see audio and video mixed in and working correctly. I'm going to have to probably do the same thing here that I did. You know what? I may not. <laughs> in, other, in which case, you'll see the, the finished video up on my channel. And I'll explain at some point. So... That's how I do it now. Uh, I can get in-game sounds. I can get uh, mic, my mic. Now I'm just going to export this out and call it AV Demo in all caps. Now I'm going to choose Web. I'm going to choose YouTube HD 720p. I always do this in high quality. And then I'm going to export the video. And I'm going to say thank you for watching, and keep an eye on me. Bye.